Welcome to another educational gameplay video. This one is rather short, but honestly, I think it's probably the most important one yet. We are going to take care of a topic that probably frustrates a lot of people. Campers. Yes, they are part of the game, and yes, they are part of almost every shooter, not just Hunt, and we have to deal with them. But how? The goal of this video is to showcase you two scenarios where you can be almost 100% sure you are up against campers. Yes, there are way more possibilities to get camped and to counter campers, but today I want to focus on only two and share my personal opinion with you. Showcase match 1. A taken clue at a boss layer. Oh, this clue is taken, my friend. And he's he here. here. If the seal of a clue is broken, the game is telling you that people stopped by earlier and took it before you. So far so good, nothing that should put you into your highest alert state. But, as soon as the clue reveals that the boss is exactly at the location where the taken clue is, your spider senses should be tingling at maximum, because this is really really fishy. Not a lot of people take a clue and then just leave the boss area and say GG, see you next time. Now what could be going on here? What do you need to check? Step by step I suggest the following. A. Is there any combat sound? The map shows us the butcher is in the northwest barn. Listen carefully. Can you hear any combat noise that includes melee swings, butcher screams, an exploding concertina bomb, etc. There are ways to kill the bosses almost silently, but if you're that close as we are, you will hear something for sure. Conclusion? We hear absolutely zero from the northwest barn. B. Is the boss already triggered? Since 2.2, the following should happen if people are close to the boss. As an anti-camping measure, we have changed the behavior of boss targets. Bosses now become active when hunters are in the vicinity of boss areas. They will remain active until the player leaves the area. The point is, we are talking here about a rather short distance. They can still be in the compound. The map tells us the butcher is in the northwest farm. We don't hear the typical fast stomping from him when he is triggered. Conclusion, if the mechanic works correctly, spoiler, it doesn't always work as intended, nobody is close to the butcher and the northwest barn, first floor and top floor, even the ladder spot, should be camper free. C, are they camping somewhere else in the compound? This compound is tricky, since the northeast barn is a perfect spot to camp. You can cover almost every path of approach, especially the usual ones everybody uses. like. Us, for example, because we are stupid. On top you have a beautiful view on the boss layer entry points. Tint glass makes it hard for other players to spot you if you do just a quick peek. You absolutely have to check the northeast barn if you want to kill the boss. I will quickly skip this, we didn't find anybody in the northeast barn. Just to be sure, we check the area above the butcher and everything else. Conclusion: We don't find anybody, but we are not convinced. Not at all. On. Joe thinks they could even be north across the river. Honestly, that is a valid position, you can get quickly to the boss layer and are completely safe from getting spotted. B. Decide what to do next. The butcher is rather easy to kill, but there are a few options here. Number 1. Engage the boss, damage him a bit and retreat from the boss layer. See if that was enough to lure the campers out. Ambush the campers. Satisfaction level high. Play some mind games. You can throw a chaos bomb into the boss layer and see what happens. Campers are most of the time not the sharpest tools in the shed. Satisfaction level very high. I mean double crossbow Number 3. Really place really some audio traps. Gather traps and place them at the entry points. The snap sound, even if they disable them, is very useful information for you and can give you the little bit of advantage that your team needs. Number 4. Only one of you is fighting the boss. In all honesty, the butcher can be killed by even a weak loadout if you have a bit of experience. Let your teammates stay in the northeast barn and give you a call out from where they try to rush you. Exit the lair by the other entry point. There are more things you can do, but I will let you complete the list in the comment section. What are you doing to prevent getting ambushed during the boss fight? And then number 5. Run in, ignore the buff hints and kill my ass fast as quickly. I rather well, not the brightest approach. Obviously, we went with option 5. We are doing fine. The stream chat told me to play the big crossbow with a combat axe. 
it's not ideal, but they do decent damage and two crossbows destroy the butcher really fast. But suddenly... Oh, run. Yeah, I can't aggro him. Let's keep on running. Oh my god, All Hunter! Right. Jesus Christ. Right on the other side of the fucking block, scared the shit out of me. Oh my god! Are you burning? No. Please. He will kill me, he will kill me, he will kill me. No! <laughs> Behind you. You? Ooh. A noise. Vanish, please. Thank you. Did you kill Whooping the white shirt yes. with a combat axe wing. Almost straight with the second guy. Satisfaction level. Really your mother-in-law cancels the trip to your place. That's, that's actually pretty mean. My mother-in-law is a nice lady. <laughs> Hello? That Attends wasn't fight? the guy. No, another one that is outside. The guy. Another one is outside. I don't know if he died. What is he dressed He's dead. as? Tier three. <laughs> I am completely aware that I should not have survived this fight. Somehow I did, and it was insanely close, multiple times. But the whole scenario was just too good to showcase that our prediction was correct, and they were waiting for us to start the butcher fight. Showcase match 2. You hear a lot of gunshots, which sound like a boss fight. You come closer to the compound and can even hear the boss. In this case, the spider. Crows, dogs, crows, dogs, hunters. I don't see yeah, them, I hear the, the horse spider. triggered. That horse trigger yeah. is not them. That's the one in the field. That's not yeah. them. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. That's what I'm saying. There's. Now, what is going on here? We heard the spider and suddenly the compound is dead silent. This is a common tactic. Killing the boss and not banishing. Waiting for people to come in and then kill them. Now, what could be going on here? What do you need to check? Step by step, I suggest the following. A. Again, check for combat sound. Some people don't banish because they are in a PvP fight and want the banish as a supreme medkit or to restore a health bar after they got downed and revived. But we don't hear any combat sound. B. Are they camping somewhere else in the compound? Especially the center barn has a few nice spots to cover a lot of the entry points from the barn in the north. Again, I just quickly skip our search of the compound. Our search was without success, something is going on here for sure. C. Be patient. Joe and I are almost 100% sure they are in the boss barn and are just waiting for people to come in. The dangerous part here is that people who this camp is, um, usually have a good loadout exactly for this kind of situation. Probably shotguns, in the worst case a crown and king, or some other heavy weaponry. At one point, they will make a mistake. They all do. Annoying gameplay. True. However, I don't know about you, but I do everything possible to not feed campers some sweet experience and kills and try to kill them. Matter of principle, I guess. 
D. Stay in observation mode for a while. This boss barn is actually pretty good for us, since there are a lot of cracks and windows to look inside. Sooner or later, they will make a mistake. If that opportunity comes, grab it and execute them without mercy. Watch it, they could be below you. I know. They here. They here for sure. Not in this loft. I don't see him upstairs. Sure they're not here? I don't know any second now. Was that you? I dropped, yeah. I got damaged. Why are we getting only the campy campy maps? I don't know. Everything in this compound is standing up for me and it's standing still. I see them. Oh my god, I just saw one. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Where? In? Or out? <laughs> Were they downstairs? He was downstairs and got nailed. You camping. We just turned this into a 1v2. I charged the hatch, a good entry point in my opinion, and returned the camping favor. Give them a taste of their own medicine. I ask Joan to make noise on the metal roof to distract the other camper. They don't know yet that we are a duo and we try to bait his teammate into picking up his friend. Yeah, above me. Definitely above me. Geht gut. Geht gut. Geht effin gut. Wow. Alright, those were the scenarios I wanted to show you. I hope they will help you, since a lot of people are complaining about campers. You can outplay campers at boss layers. It's just really difficult to do, and sometimes it needs quite some patience. And yes, sometimes they just get you. To be fair, it doesn't happen that much to us. Most of the time we can read the area and situation good enough to prepare. Way more difficult are clue campers or people camping in completely random locations. Maybe I will make a video on how to defend boss lairs against rushers during boss fights. Would you be interested in that? Furthermore, these are only my suggestions and the gameplay is definitely not perfect. There are many more ways to play the two showcase scenarios. What's your tactic against campers? Tell me in the comment section. I'm curious. That's it. If you know somebody who could use this educational gameplay, it would be really kind from you to share the video. That would be some sweet support. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the other parts of the educational gameplay playlist if this video has awakened your interest. Until then, have a nice day and bye bye.